Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a, another great video because I am finally restocking my slime shop. My shop will be open tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so probably around the time this video goes live. So if you guys want to check out my shop, I'll have the link in the description box below. And if you purchase any slimes within the first hour, you will get 15% off your entire order. Just use the code FALL15 and you'll get 15% off and save some money. Also, if you guys haven't seen my collaboration video with Elmer's, I took part in their Elmer's What If Challenge. I'll have the link in the description box below so you guys can check out the video, but I made a giant slime flower wall and it was so much fun so if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you definitely check it out and for today's post notification shout out there are four of you guys and the first one goes out to mason moods annabelle hope aqua girl plays and maya s thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on and if you guys want to get shouted out in my next video make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you have done that and i think that's about it for this intro so let's just get right into the first slime Woo! So in my large slime box, there's going to be three eight ounce slimes and one mystery two ounce slime. The first slime in the box is candy corn crunch. This is a layered crunchy snow fizz slime that comes topped with homemade yellow and orange sprinkles and a candy corn charm. It's scented just like candy corn and it smells amazing. This may mix slightly while in transit, but it will be packaged after any orders come through to prevent the mixing process. But this slime is one of my favorites in this restock. It's so sizzly and crunchy and it has amazing bubble pops. I love it so much. Next up, we have Caramel Apple Lolly. This was inspired by one of my favorite candies and it's going to come with a lollipop if you order this slime. This slime is going to be separated half with a green butter slime and half with a caramel colored clear slime. This may mix while in transit, but again, it will be packaged after it's ordered. And that goes for all of my slimes because I don't like them sitting and mixing together. I love every slime in this restock, but this is definitely in my top favorites out of all of them. I found a perfect caramel apple scent that has a hint of caramel and apple mixed together and it smells amazing. And this texture just turns into a really nice thick slime after both slimes are mixed together. It's also great for poking and it has such good bubble pops too. And the color turns into a really pretty green color when both of them are mixed together. I love it. And the last slime in this large Halloween slime box is pumpkin pecan waffles. This is a cloud cream slime that will come topped with a pretty brown glitter and it comes with a pumpkin charm. This is seriously my favorite scent out of all of the fall scents out there. I repurchased this scent from last year because so many people loved it and so many people left reviews on this scent. It just has a nice strong pumpkin pecan waffle scent. It's so perfect. This is a creamy cloud cream texture that was made with instant snow powder. And it's just a fall staple slime that everyone needs in their collection, which is why I included it in the slime box. It's so good. Moving on to the slimes in my smaller slime box, we have pumpkin swirl cake. This is an eight ounce slime right here, but in the smaller box, it's going to come as a six ounce. In my smaller box, there's going to be two six ounce slimes and one four ounce slime. So this is a marbled slime that has a white butter slime in it scented like vanilla, a light brown cloud slime scented like lemon squares, an orange cloud cream part scented like pumpkin spice, and a clear brown slime scented like pumpkin cookies. The scent of this slime is to die for with all the scents mixed together. It smells so delicious and it's going to come topped with a pretty brown glitter and orange sprinkles. 
This slime may feel a little bit thicker at first texture wise, but once all the slimes are mixed together, it turns into a really smooth and creamy texture and it turns into this pretty light brown color. Next up, we have Monster Mash Popcorn. This will be a four ounce slime in the smaller box. This is a thick yellow slime that has white marshmallow foam beads, small yellow foam beads, and a few larger foam balls in it. It's also going to come topped with orange, green, and purple sprinkles and a popcorn charm. This slime is so thick and so crunchy. It has amazing bubble pops from all of the add-ins too. It's scented just like buttered popcorn and the scent is so realistic. So if you love popcorn, you will definitely love playing with this slime. The last six ounce slime that will come in the smaller slime box is Hocus Pocus. This is a super thick, clear jelly cube slime that is unscented and it's going to come topped with a pretty blue iridescent glitter. And this slime just has so many pretty glitters in it itself. There's holographic star glitters, pink glitters, purple glitters, pretty much every pretty glitter out there, it's in this slime. And it just gives me hocus pocus vibes. It's a very holdable slime and it also has some really great bubble pops. Moving on to the next slime, we have Witch's Brew. This is a blue cloud cream slime that was made with instant snow powder and it also has Daiso clay mixed into it so it's super soft and creamy. This slime has small green foam beads in it and it's going to come topped with a pretty glitter and green sprinkles. It's scented with a strong sweet berry scent that smells delish. And here we have zombie goo. This is the first ever fishbowl slime I've made. And can I just say that I am in love? I love fishbowl slimes. So obviously there are fishbowl beads in this, but it's a clear light green slime that will come topped with some googly eyes and a pretty glitter. The slime hasn't fully cleared up because I made it pretty recently, so it will be on the clearer side, but it won't fully clear up because it is scented like Skittles, but it's so worth it to be scented like Skittles. It smells amazing. This is just a really nice crunchy slime because of the fishbowl beads and I love it. Next up, we have Black Widow Butter. You can probably tell what type of slime this is just from the name. So obviously it's a butter slime, my favorite. It's going to come with a plastic little spider charm. Besides the fact that this slime is so creamy and smooth, I really love the scent because it's scented like black cherry bomb. It has a really strong sweet scent, so if you don't like black cherry, I wouldn't recommend this slime, but if you do, I say definitely snatch this one up. Next up, we have Spooky Potion. This is a jelly slime that hasn't fully cleared up yet, but it will become more translucent when it does. This slime will come topped with googly eyes and will have some plastic bones in it. Very spooky looking. But it's also going to have some pretty glitters in it to match the theme of this slime. I love jelly textures personally. And this one is a nice holdable one too. And it's scented like strawberries and blueberries combined. This next one I am so excited about. This one is apple pie. Instagram inspired me to make this one. I saw a few posts with a slime similar to this, so I wanted to recreate it myself. 
This is a DIY clay slime. So there's an outer clay shell and a clear apple pie filling that has jelly cubes and a pretty brown glitter in it. This slime will definitely make you hungry for apple pie. The jelly cube part is scented like apple butter. And when it's all mixed together, it turns into a creamy butter slime. It's also going to come with an additional two ounce of the filling in case you want to add more to the slime to make it creamier. Love this one so much. Next, we have blueberry pecan waffles. This is another DIY clay slime. The base of this slime is a super thick tan colored slime that's scented just like blueberry pecan waffles, another favorite scent of mine. It's a strong scent that smells so good, words just can't even describe how good this smells. This slime will come with a heart-shaped waffle and some large blue foam beads to represent the blueberries. It's just so much fun putting this slime together and mixing the clay in, turning it into a butter slime. If you love butter slimes and DIY clay slimes in general, I highly recommend this one. And lastly, of course, we have to end with pumpkin spice latte. But there is a twist on this one because it's also a DIY clay slime. The slime will come with a cute pumpkin clay piece and a two ounce of cloud cream slime scented like vanilla, which represents your whipped cream. The base is a thick orange colored slime scented like pumpkin spice, and it will come topped with a pretty brown glitter. So you can build your latte however you want to and have fun with it. This slime ends up turning so creamy after everything is mixed together. If it ends up being too smooth or creamy, just add a little bit of activator to it and it will be perfect. And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel, checking out my restock, and maybe even buying some slimes off of my slime shop. Also, let me know in the comments below what your favorite slime was out of this restock. I try to be creative and different with these slimes, so let me know which one was your favorite. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you all in my next video.